From the CME Group in Chicago, I'm Larry Shover with October 5th Energy Commentary. WTI November futures edge up 32 cents on the day, $74.64, as the market continues to grapple and question the ability of the world's major uh, producers to make up for losses that crude exports tied to pending U.S. sanctions against Iran. Other than that, this week's report, which came out late yesterday, was a mixed bag. The data uh, was moderately bearish for crude, bullish for gasoline, and neutral for distillates. Beyond that, uh, inventory showed crude stocks building by 8 million barrels. Consensus was looking for something closer to 1 million barrels. Uh, however, the U.S. build was driven by a drop in total uh, demand uh, with exports. Uh, total supply increased by 163,000 barrels entirely uh, due to imports. What that says is that on a four-week average, uh, crude runs gained by 1.73 million barrels a day, which is a little bit better than consensus expected. Uh, we had the BLS report today. Uh, hard to decipher. The market seemed to be okay with it. Crude continues and looks like it's going to finish with its fourth consecutive weekly gain on a five-day basis up 1.86%. Uh, one month basis, a stunning 9% uh, on the positive side. Got a, a pretty full calendar next week, uh, especially with some inflation data. Be very fascinating to see if crude makes new highs once again next week. I'm Larry Shover from the CME Group in Chicago with October the 5th Energy Commentary.